This game is an interactive atmospheric experience about fishing your grandma's bones. Yes, you heard me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Catherine. I'm glad that you are watching this video. The game we are about to experience is called Riva and it was made for the Global Game Jam slash Malaga Jam 2021 by NB Machine and Ivan Papiol. The game was released in January 31st of 2021. Bones, Grandma, let's do this. Oh wow, it looks so pretty. Truly wonderful looking game. Okay, so what are we seeing here? Our cursor is a hand. So this must be our main character. They are holding a fishing rod, it seems. Oh, they, they almost look like they would be crying. Oh. And there is a bird on a cage in their back and some kind of water containers. And it seems like my cursor goes... My cursor changes between uh, looking like a mouse and looking like a hand. So it shows me to that I... Oh, okay, I can pick this up. But where should I put it? Is it bait? No? Should I put it in this container? No? Does the bird want to have it? <laughs> no. Okay. Is this the only place where we can put this? I suppose so, yeah. So what is this place? We can see the water, we are supposed to be fishing stuff from, and there looks like there are flowers. Can I pick them up as well? They cannot be used as bait either. I can only place them here, so... Am I supposed to somehow decorate? this or something <laughs> i don't know let's see uh we have mushrooms too can i can we use them as baits no the bird doesn't want them either okay but we can place them here good to know so how do we fish oh like this okay Let's see if we're gonna catch any fish. Oh. <clears throat> it seems I was too hasty. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Reacting too fast. When am I supposed to click the mouse? <laughs> oh yes, we got our first bone. Wow, that's also really grim. But beautiful too. Hmm. Grandma had been lost for a while before she died from senile dementia, long before we scattered her bones in the river. When the doctors told us what she had, I just thought that she would lose her memories, but... I didn't know that she would also lose her ability to be herself and to be present. Hmm. So where do I put these bones? Okay, so I can place them here and I can also decorate this place. Heck it, I'm gonna decorate it first. This is gonna be a long playthrough, but I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> wow, it's hard to lose someone like that. So, 
so will it Ah oh, we got another bone okay During her last days she was always smiling but it was such a strange smile forced halfway between a smile and a grimace on the verge of bursting into tears oh. she seemed both full of joy and deeply miserable at the same time although i doubt she was herself enough for any of those feelings to make sense So now we are placing the jawbone here as well. So I guess this is some kind of altar or something. I want to decorate it a bit between each bone. Can we? Oh, we can take this too. I have no idea what I'm doing, but. Is somehow is very therapeutic at the same time. Are they shells or something? The music is somehow really easy to memorize and also very calming. I know we're supposed to fish the bones, but I love decorating this little... Oh, I can take stones too? Amazing. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna need m much more flowers than we have here already. Let's try to catch some more bones so that we know more of this story. You've caught a cloudfish. Hello cloudfish, nice to meet you. Oh, what a nice and calming atmosphere. This looks like a bone again. I don't know what was going through her head in her last moments. But whenever I looked at her in the eyes, I felt that there was no humanity left there for us to say goodbye to. By then, my dad and my grandpa were the ones feeling all the pain that she wasn't fit to know how to feel anymore. Wow, that's rough. And also the kind of story that many of us can relate to. It felt like for every memory that she lost in the muddy water of her mind, my dad and grandpa would fish them out and treasure for themselves. During the last days before she passed away, they wouldn't stop telling me stories from when grandma was young. Meanwhile, she would be looking at us with that uncanny smile on her face. Mm. It's difficult when others forget all the memories you've shared and you are the one treasuring them. We've caught a cop.
My grandma was a former pro cyclist, and along with my dad, they would often go out on rides together. Since she passed away, my dad goes riding a few times every week and gets super angry if he can't. To be honest, I'm not sure if going out on the bike comforts him or if it just hurts. Hmm. Our altar needs more flowers, so I'm just gonna keep adding them. Because decorating this shrine or whatever we want to call this actually kind of is kind of comforting. So let's take a few more of these weird shell thingies and add them to the edges. I'm having way too much fun with this whole decoration thing. And let's take another one and put it in here. I kind of like symmetry, <laughs> as you might tell. Occasionally I love chaos too. Let's add a couple more. I guess these are called reeds. Oh, did we lose it? Let's try to place it there again. Am I having too many decorations here? Hopefully not. <laughs> no, it begins to look quite pretty. I was too hasty. I began to think about my own grandmother and somehow I wasn't able to click the mouse on time. This game made me think what it was like when I went to hospital to say goodbye to her. Grandma was super picky about food. When Grandpa cooked, he had to make double. A meal for everyone and a special meal just for her. <laughs> he didn't mind. He seemed genuinely happy to be able to spoil her every day. Every time I visit him now, we order takeout. He says he's too old, that cooking is pointless for the little appetite that he has now. Hmm... It's such a beautiful and wonderful game. We've caught a cloudfish. Let's see if we manage to get another bone. Oh, yes, we got a skull. Oh, wow. I believe that Grandma didn't suffer during her last days. Losing her memories only hurt for those around her, since her illness freed her from being aware of what was going on. I keep her memories treasured too. But next to the memories of how my dad and Grandpa are feeling about her loss, this warmth that hurts a little will be with me until I die, or until Grandma's illness takes over me too. Hmm. All oh, the feels. Poor creature. Uh, 
but such a meaningful and beautiful story. I think I'm gonna add a couple more mushrooms still. It's totally unnecessary and prolongs my gameplay, but I don't care. It makes me happy. So, that was Reba by NB Machine and Ivan Papiol. After fishing several carps and eels, I had to check if I had missed something because I wasn't able to catch any more bones and I learned that this game has no ending. So this is the story in its entirety. This was a very beautiful game and I enjoyed it a lot. The only thing I felt like I would have needed was some kind of closure so that I as a player know that this was the end of the story. But I suppose the lack of specific ending could also be interpreted so that grieving never truly ends. Just like fishing for the bones and the memories. And when we lose our loved ones in this way, we do not often get any kind of clear or specific closure. So please let me know your thoughts about this game in the comment section because I would love to read them. Thank you so much for watching this video and sharing this story with me. If you enjoyed this experience and wish to support the developers of this game, check out the links in the description text below this video.